going on you guys it's electric enzo here today i'm going to be running a very difficult course it's got all of the core aspects of ninja whether you're looking at speed strength agility grip technique we've got it all in this course even endurance so yeah uh if you like these kind of videos please let me know in the comments down below like subscribe and let's get right into this are you, are you ready for this i'm gonna clear the course easy let's go you ready for this easy first clear let's go First try. All right, so it started off with the Iron Maiden. Uh, this is a staple in my backyard course runs. As you can see, I had a few close, close calls on there, but I'm getting pretty efficient on this thing. As you can see, I'm a lot smoother than in some of my other course runs. Just had to fit it there, and now we're good. So now we have to go down the Iron Maiden. Did a little skip there to save time. Now we have a new obstacle, the slack line. Just had to run across that. Pretty simple. Uh, it does bend down a bit. I made a new video on that a few days ago if you want to check that out. Then this is the hold alley. You had to touch every hold. That's why you see me going back and forth. Then you had to grab these two monstro swings. You had to grab the chucks and they dropped down really abruptly. Uh, so they were pretty tough, but not too bad. Then it was the cliffhanger. This cliffhanger is only three-fourths of an inch, so it's super thin that I just grabbed. And then this cliffhanger is on a slant, and I'm holding on by one hand, and that was a close call. That is one of the hardest cliffhangers I have out there, if not the hardest. So holding on to that was super tough. This is one of the harder obstacles in the course, and one of the hardest obstacles in my backyard. But then you had to finish the cliffhanger, show control in the last one. Then run across the Bosu run. <laughs> a little close call there, but nothing too bad. Then you had to go across the seesaw. Two new obstacles in my courses. Then I sped it up before the next obstacle. You can see me on my knees because I am getting calm for this crazy grip gauntlet. The vertical limit, as I've said before, they're like upside down cliffhangers, except a lot harder and super tough. One of the, probably the hardest obstacle in my backyard. And after that whole course, that is just a nightmare to do because it's so tough. Now comes the last obstacle, which is the lock-off circuit. So you have to do the pegboard with 90-degree lock-offs. As you can see, I'm holding it at a 90-degree angle. Uh, takes a lot of practice to master these, but I got it done. And you had to do a peg lache to this bar, and I was able to complete the course. All right, you guys, that was a crazy tough course. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And comment down below. Share this with your friends. It helps the channel out tremendously. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.